You can't buy much with three cents these days, but I can show you how you can put three pennies to work to help you build this simple crosscut sled for your table saw. A crosscut sled is a handy shop jig for making precise cuts on boards. It's also great for cutting multiple pieces the same length. And the sled can be safer as well, helping you avoid dangerous kickbacks. Believe it, a sled like this will get you more perfect results than a miter saw will every time. I've got all the materials I need right here, mostly stuff I had laying around the shop anyway. A really straight two foot one by four hardwood board, a two foot square piece of either half or three quarter inch plywood. You also need some double face tape, some three quarter inch wood screws with a pilot bit, a nail gun, and let's not forget our three pennies. I've cut a 5 16 inch strip from the one by four that I'll use to fit into the three quarter inch wide by three eighths inch deep slot in my table saw. You'll need to sand the edges of this strip so it slides nicely in the miter slot of your table saw. Put those pennies to work by setting them into the miter slot. Apply double face tape to the top of the strip, then set the untaped side onto the pennies. Next, peel away the film from the top side of the tape. With your fence set about 23 inches away from the blade, butt the plywood against the fence and slowly lower it to the saw table. Press firmly to make contact and ensure a bond between the plywood and the strip. Flip it over and fasten the strip to the plywood with screws. Drill pilot and countersink holes and drive five three-quarter inch screws evenly spaced through the strip into the plywood. Flip the assembly over and give it the glide test. I cut this two inch wide strip from the hardwood board we used earlier. And now I'll simply spread some glue along the back side and place my three pennies underneath it to elevate it slightly to keep it from catching on the edge of the table. Then I'll use my nail gun and attach it to the edge to act as a fence. Finish the project by running it through the saw, cutting a clean edge and squaring it. And that's it. You've got a new jig for your shop that'll last for years. And what happened to those three pennies? Well, they're back in my pocket looking for another investment opportunity.